Hello, Namaste, Salam Walekum, Sastriyakal. Welcome back to another session with your washoff at whatever.com. Today we are going to learn how to make refried beans. For making our refried beans, I am going to use both our Indian Rajma and this Pinto beans. These uh, Indian Rajma are slightly bigger and then the Pinto beans are slightly smaller. In fact, you get the black beans which is uh, very widely used. But the difference in taste, you know this is less sweet, this is slightly sweeter. After you soak them, you eat them, the pinto beans are nicely sweeter, whereas the rajma aren't. But usually they just use the pinto beans and in this, what I did is soaked overnight and then put some bay leaf and boiled these uh, beans and boil them till they are nicely mashed. And I think I will need uh, this much water, if not you can reduce the amount of water a little bit. And Whenever you are making refried beans, you know they use some pork fat or even bacon and some people use chicken stock. But today I am going to make it uh, pakka vegetarian, so we are just uh, adding water instead of anything. So to make these refried beans, they use olive oil or you can use any fat, but I am going to use some butter. And while the butter is melting, add some garlic, chopped onion, we are going to let this butter melt this way because you know if I just melt the butter it may burn. So adding this onion and garlic will help the butter not burn and melt easily. Once this uh, onion and garlic is slightly sorted, add uh, the green chilies, add some chilli powder and little bit of cumin powder. Totally Indianized refried beans. In this just add the beans that have been nicely boiled, you know mash it and then add to this. Okay, if we need we will add this water, first uh, let us uh, cook this. You know the way I am cooking, this is perfect for any Indian taste. Some people like it really like a very fine paste, but I like it slightly coarse. You know. Any amount of butter you add in this, uh, it will get absorbed by this uh, beans. And you know that flavor from the cumin, the chili powder, everything what will make this tasty. They are making this uh, refried beans for burrito, they don't really care to make it that tasty. But if you are eating it just like this along with uh, as a side accompaniment, you just want to make sure that you cook this with butter because then you want it to be really tasty. And also you can add chopped cilantro and cheese, the grated cheese and then mix it and now this is ready to eat along with any of the moles. Even with any you know Indian curries you can just have it on the side and eat it. Switch off the flame. This is all ready and super tasty. Wow! You know, I don't compromise on the taste of um, my refried beans. I want to make sure this is tasty because I can use it 2-3 days, put it in the fridge and just take a spoonful in the middle of the night when you wake up and then you eat, it is still awesome. Dear friends, not only on burritos, even if you are eating your Indian curry or Indian rice. Just put one or two scoops of this refried beans and you can enjoy it with any of the Indian curries and meals also. Ah. Dear friends, I hope you have enjoyed to learn the refried beans cooked with fresh pinto beans and rajma beans. Nothing canned product is used in making this, that is when it is very tasty. But do not forget, Vareva is all about inspiring others to cook. So please post your recipes and cooking tips at whatever.com so others can benefit from your great cooking. Thank you.